In this video, I'm gonna discuss if you can install Google Tag Manager on a Shopify site, how to do it correctly and what the shortcomings might be. All and more coming up right after this. Hi there, and welcome to another video of measureschool.com where we teach you the data-driven way of digital marketing. My name is Julian, and today we're gonna take a closer look at a Google Tag Manager implementation on a Shopify store. Now Shopify has become a very popular shop system over the past years, and that's because it makes it super simple to dive into building an online store without having to deal with all the technical setup, which is really cool. That's why a lot of stores have actually sprung up that are built on this platform. But it's also a closed source system, which makes it sometimes hard to control all the technical aspects of the platform. That's why it's worth taking a closer look on how we can integrate Google Tag Manager on this platform. We've got lots to cover, so let's dive in. Now the first question we want to tackle is, can you install Google Tag Manager on Shopify? Shopify, after all, is a closed source system, kind of like a shop in a box system where you can simply input your products, make some configurations, and you're basically ready to go. Great. But what about installing third-party tools on our site? For that, Shopify has an app store where you can add an extra functionality to your store. Unfortunately, when we search here for Google Tag Manager, there's nothing really to be found. So we need to go the route of a manual installation. Let's take a look. Here we are in our Shopify demo store. Let's go over to our online store options here. And first of all, look into preferences where we can add a Google Analytics code and a Facebook pixel code, but unfortunately no Google Tag Manager code. So we would need to do a manual installation. Let's go over to our theme and then edit our theme under edit HTML and CSS. And let's look for the right file. We can just install this into the overall theme liquid file where we have the head and the body, which we will need to install Google Tag Manager. So let's look for the code that we need. Here is the code for the head. Let's put that in here. And here's a code for the body tag. Let's put this here. Save this all and do our quality control. Let's go over to our online store and see if Google Tag Manager is installed. I will do this by entering the preview and debug mode and we should have visual confirmation really soon. And we see our preview and debug mode opens. That means Google Tag Manager is correctly installed. Let's surf a little bit on these pages. Go on to the product pages. Also here, Google Tag Manager is installed. Let's add this product to the cart and view our cart. On the cart, it's installed as well. And let's check out. Huh, on this page, apparently it's not installed. What I also notice is that the URL actually changes up here and we apparently can't insert our codes from the backend to our checkout pages. So what does that show us? Well, GTM can be installed on Shopify, yes, but not completely. Namely, the checkout pages are off limits. And trust me, I've tried and there's just one way to customize your checkout, and that would be to upgrade to Shopify Plus. This is the enterprise version of Shopify, basically, but also starts at a low four-figure investment. Bummer, huh? Well, is Google Tag Manager still usable? I would say yes, kind of. Google Tag Manager is a very versatile tool, remember? You can deploy any kinds of tracking through GTM. It doesn't always have to be um, tags that you wanna deploy on the checkout pages. Retargeting, conversion tracking, and other tracking scripts could be implemented through Google Tag Manager. Simply, those that need to reach the checkout pages won't work. And the biggest downside I really see here is Google Analytics. Since Google Analytics is a session-based analytics platform, you want to be able to maintain your integrity of page views throughout a session. If you don't track page views that are generated on the checkout, you will have holes in your sessions, basically, 
and these holes can lead to all kinds of problems from incomplete sessions over to multiple sessions or broken referrers and self-referrers. So I wouldn't recommend to do this. Better install Google Analytics on the backend side of your configurations in your Shopify store. Now the question is, so what can it actually be used for? Well, you could still deploy retargeting, conversion tracking through GTM. If you have lots of tracking script, that actually would make sense to keep them all in one place and manage them from the central interface of GTM. So does it make sense to install GTM on Shopify? Well, really it depends. GTM is officially not supported by Shopify at this time, um, unfortunately. And Shopify has their own technology to deploy tracking codes. So in the backend, you can find the places where you can input tracking codes on the checkout page itself. So if nothing is really broken, do you need to fix it? On the other hand, if you are working with a lot of external contractors, such as freelancers on the PPC side, and they want to use Google Tag Manager, it might be worth installing additionally to what you already have. Just make sure that you and they are aware of the shortcomings of this GTM implementation, and then you can decide whether to implement it or not. So there you have it. My quick thoughts on GTM implementations on Shopify. Now, I'm by no means a Shopify expert, so please leave me a comment below if you have any kind of solution for our problem. Um, in the end, it's a technical problem, and also technology is always moving forward over time. Who knows, maybe Shopify will open up their eyes to tag management really soon, and we'll get some awesome integration within the Shopify backend with some data layer love as well. If you like this video, please give us a thumbs up and subscribe to this channel so we can produce more of these videos every week. They come out every Thursday. And if you wanna follow and stay up to date with what's happening in digital analytics, why not follow us on Facebook, Twitter, or LinkedIn? We have all these links down below. My name is Julian, till next time.